Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to talk about some great volumizing products. Yes, that's right. Some of this is my hair extension, which I will show you how I do my hair and apply my hair extension a little later in the video. But a lot of it is my volumized hair, and I got it by using these wonderful John Frieda products, which I'll be explaining to you. I did order these from Octoli, but the reason is I use a lot of the John Frieda products, and I have for years, and I knew I would absolutely love them and they did not disappoint. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, whether that's hair, makeup, anti-aging your home through decor projects, which I've got going on right now, and I'll be showing you a video on that in the near future, then I hope you'll consider subscribing and click that little bell to be notified of my future videos. So to show you these volumizing products, and they really did give me great volume, let's rewind about two hours to when I just stepped out of the shower. Okay, now let's try this John Frieda mousse. Let's see how it works. I love the John Frieda products. I have used their Frizz Ease three day straight product for years. Whoa, that is a lot of foam there. And I've always heard that you should not really overdo the mousse, that it will weight your hair down. Now I like to put a little in the front and a little bit in the back on the sides because my hair can really be flat right back there. So we'll work that in there. There we go. Perfect. Now I've already had this product and I've been using it and like it. This is the John Frieda Luxurious Volume Fine to Full Blowout Spray. And really put a lot of that in there. Instead of just spraying on the top, you get down in that hair to make that product go to work. Now I've never tried this one before, but I'll go ahead and use it. This is their Root Booster. And supposedly you do it right at the roots. You know, I'll get myself a little mirror there so I can see what I'm doing. Whoa, <laughs> take off the lid, that would help. Oh, it is a little spray. And I'll go in the back there. I'm very flat in the back. Especially as I've gotten to be more grown up. Seems like my hair has gotten a little bit thinner, which is normal. One of the gifts of being over 50. Put some along that part. Kind of massage that in a little bit, lift up those roots. Now I always use their three day straight flat iron spray. So I'll go ahead and do that. Hope it's not messing with the volume. Okay, then I'll blow dry. And I use this little brush, which lets the air get in through the bristles of the brush. Do the roots to try to get them to stand up. I always spray my hair in the wrong direction to try to get it a little lift on the top. Now I'll finish my blow drying off camera. Wow. For me, this is a lot of volume after blow drying. That is pretty incredible what those products did. Okay, now let's get into flat ironing. And I always use this Aquage Beyond Shine, and I have used this literally for probably 15 years. Love this stuff. It just takes out that little bit of brittleness that your hair gets, especially if you're kind of a bleachy blonde like I am. And it also just makes your hair soft and pliable. Brush that through a little bit. Okay, I need my little pinky hair clip, but I'm in my makeup room and I don't want to go clear across the house to the bathroom. So I'll just use this to kind of clip that up. Then I'll just go in and use the flat iron. Just get that all nice and straight. I love that Aquage Beyond Shine. That is a great product. Just makes your hair shiny and glossy. And I'll just go ahead and take the rest of that down. Since I had the keratin smoothing treatment, I really don't have to straighten my hair as precisely as I used to. I did a video about it that I'll link below. And you do it about every six months, and it just makes your hair smoother. Kind of reduces the frizziness, which I really suffer from. And my sides are all kinky. I have extra curly hair there for some reason. 
Got some gray showing. <laughs> That's awfully fun. Another joy of becoming more grown up. Now I have a special trick for right around here where I've got the kinky hair and that is, oh, it's a mess. Ugh. That is that I use my smoothing brush and I just hold it there and pull it out and see how it gets that nice and smooth. I'm not able to do that with a simple flat iron. It takes the brush to really pull out that curl. So that's just a lot smoother there. Sometimes I'll take that through the back of my hair too because I have these kinky waves in the back, which drive me crazy. I look like an 1880s girl. Okay, now before I put my hair extension in that I pretty much wear every day, I have to tell you that my hair is quite a bit fuller than it normally is. I am very, very impressed with these products. For me, this is quite full hair. I could probably get a haircut and this would be just fine even without the extension, but I do like the little extra fullness. But I have to say, I think those products are awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and put the hair extension in. And what I do is I just part my hair just below that little bump that's in the back of your head. Put my hair up there. Then I grab my hair extension, and this is the single weft extension from Irresistible Me, and I'll put a link below to that video. They provided this to me about a year ago, but I absolutely love it, and I wear it all the time. I got a complete set of extensions, but I never like to do that. It's just too much of a hassle to put all those pieces in there, and that one piece just gives me a lot of added fullness, which I really appreciate. Now the next part is a little questionable, but it's something I like to do because I like to have height on top and as you can tell I really pretty much have no height on top. It's nice and flat up there So I just take this hair and I kind of tease it a little bit and then I use a little bit of the sexy hair powder play light Sometimes I use the powder play, but I just have the powder play light, which is fine It's just a lighter version of the powder play so you just put it largely on the back I actually just put it on the front and it turns the front of your scalp white, which you don't want. But it, it makes your hair a little bit tacky and then you can kind of tease it again and then you just comb it back that way. And then I put this little comb back in the back of my hair like this. Some of you have asked how I'm doing this and that's how I do that. And then I like to bring a little bit of hair down on the side so it helps blend it in a little more. So then I kind of tease it out a little bit to the sides to give a little bit more volume. And then I like to use this Kenra Dry Texture Spray. And what this does, it actually just is a volumizing spray that goes in your hair and gives it a little bit of texture on the sides. Then I just kind of brush that down. I should let it dry a little bit more, but in the interest of time, I'm going to let it dry in my hair. Then when it's all done, I use my Kenra hairspray. This is the medium hold hairspray. Absolutely love Kenra's hairsprays. They are fabulous. They have a long hold, last all day, yet it's very natural. Okay, that was a look at what the John Frieda products did for my hair, plus a few other products that I really love and enjoy. And all those products are linked below. And I will tell you, this shirt came from Thread Up, and I'll show you, and also the belt which you can hardly see, but it's a Michael Kors, very nice quality leather belt. I got it from Thread Up, which is a gently used clothing site. And I'll put a link below to all the great Thread Up bargains I got there recently. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in making your second half the best half, because that's what 50 plus beauty is all about, making our second half absolutely beautiful, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that bell, that just notifies you by email of my future videos. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. We've been using the Power Thoughts cards from Louise Hay. Whoa, I'm about to drop them. Okay, and I've taken out the duplicates, so we're running down low on cards. Let's see what we've got for today. Ooh, I like this. I prosper wherever I turn. I prosper wherever I turn. I now see opportunities for abundance everywhere. I am blessed and prosperous. Oh my, I absolutely love this card, friends. And this is so important to get in that abundance, prosperity mindset, but also to put in the work necessary to keep that prosperity and abundance flowing in. I always ask myself, if I wanted to have this given outcome in terms of prosperity, what are the steps that I would take? And then I try to make sure that I'm doing those steps because when we think prosperity in our hearts and minds, and then we take those necessary steps, we can have a wonderful, abundant second half. 
Take care. See you next time.